Look at that. It's Ooh. official. Yeah, class winner. Put it on. Put the medal on. Right. If you insist. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on guys this is day two of our double header weekend it is sunday morning uh it is looking a little iffy looks like we will get rain at some point but how much and how long it'll last is that's kind of the question but it looks like we'll get rain at some point but that should be i don't know a couple hours away so for now we should be able to practice in the dry and uh get a few laps before before the rain does come but we will keep you guys updated as the day goes on the biggest update is there's no Finley. No baby today. No baby. Just, just uh, the boys and then mom. My that mom means, is here. Uh, that means this guy can have a cigar. So it's not all bad. And the uh, camp will be a lot quieter and less annoying. Oh, which you're is still here. Good burn. It was a good burn. It was a good burn. Okay, so we have the very real threat of rain today. So we are just making preparations got our rain tires and we got two rain motors so we're just gonna prep those to try to avoid scrambling if it rains or likely when it rains um, just to avoid some of the scramble put ourselves in a better spot will it work we'll see notice who's doing the work Just who's like not tires, it's, uh, it's nice to know you kind of run the show and you know, the, my subordinates over here just kind of help me out, do what I ask, because they know, you know, Ben's the star of the show. We need, we need him to be set and comfortable and get him what he needs. Uh, notice who's got the camera in hand and who's working. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying that they know the star of the show has other things to do, so that's why you underlings get to be over there wrenching on my stuff. But in all seriousness, there was quite a bit of stuff I did. <laughs> what Casey is currently doing though is he is changing up my ride height. We're mostly just doing this as a test purpose because I we both felt like our front ends was really stuck yesterday. So by change ugh, by changing the ride height, we're hoping that it isn't as bad and we're only doing it to my cart. I'm gonna give feedback, see how it feels, and then we may change Casey's as well. The boys seemed uh, pretty stout during that practice session. Uh, I just wish we didn't have the weather because I really think they're stacking up for some good finishes today. Uh, cart counts down from yesterday, so uh, at least if they're running, a couple of the top guys weren't out there, and so I would assume they left. But uh, you know, you can only race who's here. So uh, right now we're looking like we're stacking up pretty good. So see how it goes. So we've had all of our practice sessions, and it's been going pretty good. Casey and I've been pretty solid, and speed-wise, made a few changes that have helped. Uh, now we're just kind of, it's just like very, very lightly, like the lightest sprinkle imaginable. Like you'll just kind of feel drops every now and then. Um, so the track is like a little slick, uh, but dad is about to go out for qualifying. He just said that he was a little bit nervous about it, but. Um, I don't put that on camera, can it, Ben? I don't admit any weaknesses. Of the, of the probably 15 in his class, we're hoping he brings home a top 14 effort. Was sitting my foot here and I realized I kind of had a Zion situation, a little Zion Williamson. You know, power athletes like us, one quick cut in the ground and the shoe's just blown up. So, you know, it's just another obstacle I'll have to overcome this weekend. It's just one thing after another, but like Zion, I'm gonna push through. Mom has brought the mustard, which dad insists to bring because he cramps up and mustard is apparently a cure, an instant cure for a cramp, so she's always prepared. Pretty much wife of the year, mom of the year material right there. Let's take a second and just say, if you like what you see, like, share, and subscribe to the video. Back to the action. What, what are you thinking? How'd it go? <laughs> it was a handful, man. It was a handful, he says. Uh, do you want to know? Yeah. You got 12. I don't know how, how many. How many were there? 16. They're only 16? Oh, 12 out of 16. No, 17. 17. 12 out of 17. I'd change. I'd go up one. I'd go up one. I'd go up one. Because you even, can always say the whole... we'll be running in a draft. But no, but that's the thing is you always say we're going to be running in a draft. Casey and I will be running in a draft. You never run in a freaking draft. It drives me crazy. You should run in a draft. It sounds like a criticism. <laughs> you take it as... If you think that's a criticism, if you're feeling attacked, okay. Feel attacked. Well, I'm just saying I'm 12, and I can see the front from there. Yeah, you can. 
out of a 16 car field. <laughs> that was an attack, yeah. <laughs> um, but I would you change what? it. I would change it. Karma. Mr. I know, DM. no, it was yesterday, yesterday I, I... I'll take my average finish against yours You're yesterday, right. we'll see. You're right. So Sage Karam's here. Did yeah. you notice uh, during our practice session, he was watching us, and I'm pretty sure I saw a notepad in hand. Yeah, I, I think so. I think, I think he was taking notes. I think he really looks at the brakes class as a way to better his driving. All right, thrashing a little bit here. Tape that. Going to rain. Well, kind of. One of us is going to rain. One of us is going to try to drive. So, where's the tape that? Because it's going to be. Is yeah, that where's tactical? The where's the tape? No, it's just a personal preference. So you're the designated rainer. I'm going to go rain. I, uh, you both should go rain. Well, we thrashed a bit. Got Casey's cart ready for rain. <laughs> Uh, we'll have to see how he does here. I'm not uh, not sure how this will go. Here comes Case right here. This is qualifying for CIK. You'll notice that I am not out there. Uh, it would have taken too long to get my cart ready. So we went with Casey. And we got him out there just as they were pulling away. So we'll see how it goes. So you can see we got a little more rain coming. Okay. How'd it feel? Well, <laughs> each lap got better, right? But I'm such a newbie in the rain. Uh, it was okay. What would you guess out of 25? What would you guess? Uh, 11. Eight. Okay. So Casey's just taking track for the sportsman class for the non winners. Um, again, I'm not out there for. The same reasons, just the time that it would have taken was not worth it. It doesn't look like there's a ton of people out there. So uh, assuming that it gets, you know, dried off of the race, it looks like I start eighth or ninth just because nobody's going out really. I now have a total of nine laps in the wet. Uh, I just got done with my second qualifying session today in the rain. I love it, man. It's so fun. It's a, it's a challenge. I'm not good at it, uh, but it's definitely different. Um, and I was each lap I maybe get a little bit better you just need a, I can tell you, you need a lot of practice with that well at least I would qualified second in that group now that sounds oh second how many carts were there dad nine nine yeah so that's not giving me too much props we are on grid for dad's race and we still have a wet track so dad now has rain tires on and uh, he's our most experienced rain racer, so it's in good hands. I, I don't know why you say that. You ran a full one. race. I've only had didn't? nine laps, yeah. Now that includes today's two qualifying sessions. You know, I'm a novice compared to you. Yeah. I was hoping for more people that didn't want to race in the rain. I'm really disappointed. I was envisioning like a top five finish because there were six of us. <laughs> and one of them was on slicks. Well, hopefully we can hear you now. This wind really pick it up. But, uh, so you raced in the rain. Yeah. For what was your second time yeah. ever? What was your experience like? Yeah, I don't know that I'll ever do it again. Okay. <laughs> what 
really ticks you off is you go out there and you run so that you don't have to give anything up and don't have a transponder. So I, I took what would have been a 12th place finish and now I have to have something worse. You worked hard for that 12. I certainly did. Yep. Transponder shouldn't matter. It will matter. No, but it just disqualify you. It, what? They don't, they don't. You gotta have a scoring thing. Okay, that's the end of my first race. Uh, started the race in sixth place and it was a wet track. As the track dried up, my cart got worse and then I was really just hanging on to it. I had a few people on me and uh, I was just fortunate they didn't pass me because it was not good. I, I fully expected to get freight trained, but held on to fifth. Now I've got one more and should be in the dry. And in the dry, me and Ben, at least this morning, feeling pretty solid. Um, so hopefully that translates to solid in the race. We'll see. I did not race in that CIK race because it was still kind of wet, kind of dry, and I had slicks on and I was kind of deciding. I uh, saw a couple other guys go out on slicks. So I was like, you know what? I'll let them test the waters. I'll just wait on it. So I did not go out. I just decided to wait till next time. Can you see that? Can you see it? See what it, it says first place. Got my first win today. And wouldn't you know it, my stinking GoPro on my cart was full. So it didn't record, but uh, it happened. I got first place. Um, not a really good sense in telling you about the race other than uh, it was exciting. And uh, just so stoked. It's almost like a little bit of a weight off my back. Um, Cause you know, that, that gold medal has been like four years in the making been at this for four years so it's it's pretty sweet uh gave a nice little fist bump as i crossed the start finish line i it's awesome just super pumped and uh it's a good day oh. Woo, way to go bud Awesome, That's awesome, man. Thank you so much. That was awesome. Big win, huh? Oh, awesome. Woo! Stall winner. How about that? So here we are. This is uh, what I'm going to refer to as Confessions of a Kart Racer with Ben. Uh, we just got done with the CIK Sportsman class. And if you don't know already, Casey secured the, the victory today. Uh, it was I didn't get to watch a ton of his race. I was doing my own stuff, but man, from the sounds of it, he just, I mean, just outsmarted. What's the survivor theme? Out, outwit, outplay, outlast. I mean, it sounds like he just drove a, a great race and couldn't be happier for the champ right there. Um, but to the confession part is just, you know, it's really awesome to have a stall win, right? But I always thought it would be me to get the first win. So that's, that's a, a tough pill to swallow but uh casey earned it he he was uh he's been solid all day and ran really well in cik today in the in the wet and then getting the win in the dry was just it was a good day for him uh myself i i started back in uh 10th i didn't qualify but luckily not, only nine people did so i got to start in 10th place You know, got got by everybody, um, and then I was in fifth place. And then I was in fifth place, and then I just drove off the track like a like an idiot, just trying to get myself back in the race uh, to catch Casey's group. And it just, without a draft, it wasn't going to happen regardless. And I threw away uh, any chance that I had of doing that when I drove off track. There's a lot of J 
jealousy coming from this end right now. I know. Good job, Because in your, in your mind, I'm going to assume you always pictured you. I, said, I actually did a confession. <laughs> like, I literally sat down with Gary and said, Confessions of a Car Racer. Great job, Casey. You know, he, he earned it and stuff, but I always thought I'd be the first one. <laughs> but that's all right. Should have freaking gone in the rain. If only, if only my teammates had offered to switch me over to a rain setup. <laughs> that's a joke because they did. They insisted and I said no. Look at that. It's official. Ooh. Yeah, class winner. Put it on. Put the medal on. If you insist. <laughs> <laughs> Wear it into work tomorrow. <laughs> Put around Finley. You wore nothing to bed. Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah. Like four, four years. years. Four, four years. Four years in the making. Yep. Thanks for watching, guys. It was uh, a tough weekend for some of us, but a great weekend for Casey. <laughs> uh, but it was a lot of fun. I mean, it. Obviously a lot of downs, some good ups though. Um, got Finley out here for the first time and Casey brought home the hardware. I think he was pretty motivated now that he's got a kid in this world. Um, but until next time, just like, share, and subscribe to the video. Thanks See for you. watching.